Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the simple loop analysis of synchronous meshing. Let's see how it is. For example, take here North Pole and South Pole and either North Pole and South Pole for example these are my two one is the for first 180 degrees next one is the for next 180 degrees and see this is my magnetic flux and flux density B here also the stationary, the DC magnetic field, that's why DC magnetic field, for example, so stationary magnetic field like this. And here we should take the armature. So let's see, this is my armature. This is my armature. For example, I'm taking here this is my armature see this is my armature here listen carefully listen carefully this is my armature and this armature connected to prime mover this armature connected to prime mover where we are giving the prime mover input we are giving the prime mover input in this armature, we have a armature conductors. For example, this is my armature coil. This is my armature coil. Let's see here. This is my armature coil again. Like this. In generally, the EMF induced in this armature coil when primary input given when this rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field, then EMF induced in this armature conductors. But this is a rotating part. We have to collect that EMF. We have to collect that uh, current. How we can collect that current? By using the slip rings and brushes. This is the slip ring one. And this is the slip ring two. This is my armature. This is my field coils, field winding. And slip ring one, slip ring two. And these slip rings are connected to brushes. This is a brush one. And this is a brush two. Brush one and brush two. Here also we have a two slip rings. I'm two brushes. We have two slip rings. I'm two brushes. For example, this is brush one. And for example, this is brush two. Let's see here. Let's see. For example, this is my armature, right? This armature should be connected to slip rings and brushes. So see how we are going to connect here. The first armature coil conductor is connected to slip ring 1 and brush 1. And next conductor connected to slip ring 2 and brush 2. For example, my first conductor is AB and next conductor is CD. Right. Now let's analyze the flow, the current flow. How is there? In generally, in our synchronous machine, first one is the armature. In this armature, EMF induces. That EMF is 100% AC only. Whatever the machine, either DC machine or AC machine. The EMF induced in the armature winding is AC only. But how we can say is this is the AC or DC? According to right hand rule. 
Fleming's light right hand rule. Let's see here. For example, these are my two conductors. These two conductors are rotating like this. This uh, armature coil is rotating like this. If this is rotating like this, nothing but AB conductor coming outwards and CD conductor going inwards. Yes or no? This is like this. See here, AB conductor outwards. When AB conductor outwards, CD conductor inwards. So, the motion of the conductor given by thumb, this outwards, AB conductor outwards, and flux direction. Forefinger gives the flux direction. When a rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field, then EMF induces. When a rotating conductor placed in A, this is my rotating conductor, which rotating like this, so AB conductor outwards, and this is flux direction, then EMF direction in upwards. My EMF direction here is upwards. If here the EMF direction is upwards, then what is the EMF direction in CD? It must should be downwards, right? Let's see. See here, AB conductor outwards, but CD conductor inwards. So inwards, it, it indicates inwards. And the flux direction, the flux direction, then EMF direction in downwards. Then the EMF in this conductor is downwards. Let's see here. This EMF collected by the slip ring 2. This slip rings gives the current to the brush 2. Gives the current to the brush 2. Then these brushes gives the current or supply to the load, which is electrical load. See here, the flow of current is like this. The flow of current is like this. As usually, this is my written path. This is my written path. This is for first half of cycle. See, this is for first half of cycle. See here, for first half of cycle, how it is. First EMF. EMF. For first half of cycle, the EMF, the flow of EMF is from A to B. The flow of EMF is from A to B. And for example, this is a point P and this is a point Q. Here, the load for first half of cycle, the load is from P to Q. The load is from P to Q. The flow at the load is from P to Q. So, here first armature. Then the armature is connected to the slip ring. Of course, in slip ring also the current is AC. And then after brushes, the slip rings connected to brushes. Here also AC. And then after the brushes connected to the load, the brushes connected to the load, here load also AC. The EMF induced in the armature winding is AC. The current flow for the load also AC. That's why it is a, the synchronous generator is a AC generator. But in DC machine, but in DC machine, this AC is converted into DC by commutation action. But there is no commutation action. That's why this is a AC generator. Okay, so this is completed for first half of cycle. Then next go for second half of cycle. Second half of cycle. Initially, the conductors are like this. But after 180 degrees, the conductors are like this. Half rotation. Like, like this. So tell me, tell me here, AB, here CD, but here it is rotated. So can you tell me what is this point? This point is D. And this point is C. And this point is B. And this point is A. Yes or no? See, it's like this actually. But after rotation, it is like this. Yes or no? 
so like this after half rotation it is like this nothing but this comes this side and it comes this side but here c and b exchanged here d and a exchanged that's it now now see here actually this here we are using slip rings we are using slip rings slip rings are very different from split rings slip rings are very different from split rings split rings different slip rings different see here here my ab conductor connected to slip ring one and brush one here also my ab conductor my ab conductor connected to slip ring one and brush one only here my cd conductor connected to slip ring two and brush two and here also my cd conductor connected to slip ring two and brush two these brushes are connected to load these brushes are connected to load which is pq load which is pq load let's analyze the flow of current see here here again the flow of the motion of the conductor is like this only so here outwards and flux direction and emf direction here the emf direction is in upwards as usually here the emf direction in downwards this emf from armature to the slip ring but here slip ring one here slip ring one brush one and flow of current is like this and the flow of current is like this see here this is my closed path this is my closed path understood what happened here here the current flowing is like this here the current flowing is like this once analyze the diagram emf what is the flow of current in here in this case the flow of current is from a to b but in this case the flow of current is from b to a from b to a nothing but the emf induced in the armature is alternating this is not a direct one alternates in its direction from a to b and b to a that is called alternation so here the emf induced in the machine our synchronous generator is ac what about load actually this is a ac generator what is the output of the ac generator the output of the ac generator should be ac the output of the dc generator should be dc let's check it is it is a ac generator or dc generator let's see here here the flow of current in the load is from p to q but here the flow of current in the load is from q to p from q to p nothing but our load is also ac that's why this is called ac generator this is called ac generator sir in dc generator how the process will going on in dc generator we are using split rings what is that split rings due to split ring action again the current flows from p to q here p to q and here also p to q p to q p to q is it is alternate or direct direct that's why that is dc generator but here this is a ac generator so understood so whatever i concluded that the emf induced in the armature is ac and the load is also ac in our alternator and here the power flow how the power will flows from armature to the load first from armature to the slip ring from slip ring to the brushes from brushes to the load but there is no conversion from ac to dc everything is ac only because absence of commutator absence of commutator
Synchronous machine nothing but a absence of commutator in DC machine. If for example in DC machine if commutator is removed that is synchronous machine. DC machine minus commutator is equals to synchronous machine. This is the simple loop analysis of my synchronous machine. Synchronous generator. This is the simple loop analysis for synchronous generator or alternator. Now your time start. You have to draw simple loop analysis for synchronous motor. How? In motor we have a field winding armature and actually in motor there is no electrical load. We have to give the electrical supply. What we have to give? We have to give the electrical supply, AC supply. So in place of load resistance, you have to place the AC source, AC voltage source. AC voltage source nothing but for first half of cycle positive cycle, for next negative cycle. See here, for positive cycle current flows like this. For negative, we have to change the direction. So current flows like this. Everything is safe. I told you already. If you listen alternators carefully, motors is nothing. Here the change for motor is just the load replaced by source. That is AC source for first half of cycle positive direction. For next half of cycle negative direction. Everything is same. But the flow of power from supply. Supply is AC, supply to the brush, brush to the slip ring, slip ring to the armature. It is in reverse, I said you already, everything is in reverse. Yes, sir. Understood? Thank you.